now let's do the first example which is an indoor database exercise to draw a building manually the aim of this exercise is to learn how to draw objects manually in wallman we will draw vertical walls draw apertures in walls that would represent doors and windows of different materials we'll create a floor ceiling and then save this project or save this database to be used in proman to start the example the first step is to launch the wallman interface the main window is gray at this stage as you can see you can click on file to create a new database select the type of database as indoor database select the draw manually option and click on browse to add a material catalog that comes with the installation browse to the material catalog that is the mcb file click on open and click on okay the next step is to set the default values the default wall height should be set to 3 meters select the default wall material to brick thickness 10 cm as you can see select the default subdivision material to wood of thickness 5 cm click on okay please note that these default values can be edited when we go to the edit tab and on default values once this is defined we see four different panels or four different sections of our screen three of them represent the xy xz and yz plane whereas the right hand bottom over here represents the 3d view of your database one thing to note is when the particular plane is active or one of once a particular view is active it is highlighted in red once a particular view is activated you can click on third coordinate to change the third coordinate where you want to view the file some additional display settings are available by going to settings local settings you can check the grid option set it to 0.25 meters you can observe general display options where you see fill objects or you can check the display thickness of thickness of wall additional 3d settings can be activated from here once you click on okay and then zoom or unzoom into one of those views you shall see that the grid is now visible that will ease the process of creating walls of different sizes the next step is to draw the outer walls of the house we will use the add polygonal objects with orthogonal walls and a ceiling This option can be found under objects and enter basic objects but there is a shortcut available on the panel on the left over here Once you click on that the first coordinate is minus 10 and 6 something that can be found on the bottom right and if you move your cursor you see the coordinates changing We see that minus 10 and 6 is now set the first click always initializes the window and the second click you can start drawing the next coordinate is minus 5 comma 6 so i will 
drag it to a point where I see the x coordinate as minus phi. Click on it again to create the second point. The next one is minus 5 and 0. So the y coordinate should be 0. Click on it. Then we extend this to 7, 0. The x coordinate is 7 of the next point. We can extend that to 7 and click on it. The next corner is at 7, minus 5. 7 is the x coordinate, minus 5 being the y coordinate. Minus 5. The second last coordinate has the value x at minus 10. Can click on it and then finally join and close the polygon with a single right click. Once you do that, you will see a L-shaped kind of a block created in the 3D view and in all the other views if you zoom in. If you change the third coordinate of any of these views, you can observe the room in a different view. The next step is to add orthogonal objects that would represent the interior walls. With the XY view activated, I will just confirm that the third coordinate is 0. I can then use the option to add orthogonal objects and add walls accordingly. The first click always initializes the window and the second click will allow you to click and create a room or click or create an orthogonal wall. You can create a floor plan of your choice. You can see that the modifications are made in the 3D view as and when I enter the interior walls. The next step will be to add doors and windows. We first go to the Edit tab and click on Default Values. Click on upper and lower coordinate defined individually. Define the minimum coordinate as 0 and the maximum coordinate as 2.5 meters. Verify that the material property of new subdivisions is set to wood with thickness 5 cm. Once that is done, we click on OK and use the same add objects orthogonal option and create multiple doors as required in the database. Once again, the first click will initialize the window and the second click will create the door. Once it asks you create a subdivision, click on OK and you will see that a door is created in the 3D view as well as it is reflected in the 2D view. You can add multiple doors.
Now to add the windows, once again I will change the default values from 1 meter to 2.5 meter and I will change the material properties from wood to glass. Glass with thickness 5 millimeters. Click on OK and once again using the same option I can create multiple windows as required. Please note, you need two left clicks to start and then one left click to end. To make sure that different materials are applied to doors and windows, I can go to settings, local settings, and then check the colorize materials and click on OK. You will now see that there are different colors for doors and different colors for windows. Now to add a floor, we can activate the XY window again, verify that the third coordinate is still zero go to edit click on default values and change the material properties of new walls to concrete 20 centimeter which will be used as a floor then click on ok we can now click on add rectangular objects and create a rectangular surface which will be below the house. If I go to settings, local settings and then click on fill objects, I will see in the 3D view that a concrete slab is now applied or assigned at the bottom of the house. You can see the windows, windows and the doors. To look inside the house again, I can uncheck the fill objects. The next step will be to add some furniture that includes tables and chairs. There is an option available to create furniture elements. Since the furniture would be above the height of the concrete, we will have to verify that the third coordinate is 2 centime 20 centimeters above, which is 0.2. You can manually increase or decrease or you can just type in the value. That's how you can change it. I'm setting it to 0 0.2 and then we click on close. To add furniture elements, we have an option over here in the top which will help me create furnishing elements. Depending on what we are trying to set, there are some default values that will be assigned. We can, let's say, add a cupboard select the material to be let's say default furniture click on ok and place the cupboard here you can see that the 3d view of the cupboard is defined you can also select geometries copy them 
and paste them to a different location. As you can see, now we have two cupboards in that area. And once again, use the same option to, let's say, create a table. Use the same option again to create some chairs. Similarly, we can just select that in the 3D view or use the same option to create a chair. You see that a table and a chair is represented in the 3D view. We can also add a bed. In one of the rooms. If you select it and if you rotate it, then you will see options to modify the object or change the material properties. So with the help of the create furnishing elements option, I have created uh, some other furniture elements as you can see in the 3D view. For this example, you are free to choose whatever furnishing elements you want to, you want to use. We can finally click on file save database and name it as you want i'm going to name it rooms it will save it as indoor database binary that is idb file which should be able uh, which i should be able to use with propagation manager and click on save